Got the turbo unstuck. Dad's up working on the switch right now. I am going to grab a bucket of hydraulic oil, put in the tank. I know it's a little low. It's stuck a socket on that turbo impeller and it spun pretty easy, really. But once I got it loose, then I can spin it by hand, so I'm sure it'll spin now. Shouldn't smoke near as bad. Okay. okay. You want me to turn this and you yeah. hold that? Yeah, I'm going to turn that thing to where the prongs are right straight down to the sideways, or does it, did it matter? Okay. Did you know? Just it? whatever whatever gets the wires out of the way the most. Right there. It seems like it. That feel pretty tight. Well, yeah. Switch is installed. Turbo's free, hopefully. Maybe. No sparks, that's a good thing. Got some throttle position. Hit the starter. got to unhook the fence. He's got a wire laying on the ground so keep one area hot even if he unhooks the gate. So we're going to move that out of the way before I run over with this thing because it won't survive this thing running over. Alright, let's get stuff put up out of the way and let's get the beast roar.
trying to knock some of the dirt off the roof of our dam. I saw actually over in this corner I cleared those trees over there first then right at the edge of where we're piling these trees was a group of trees I cleared then right in front of the dozer all the way to the woods but had trees in it and then this here <coughs> this was kind of a meandering wandering ditch been there for years eroded away just a really abrupt ditch, so we cut that out, turn it into just a nice gradual waterway. 
as you can see I took that extra dirt and I, I pulled it basically there used to be like a, almost like a berm here and I cut that back and I pulled that dirt over here this over here still has a berm this was there was a program here years ago the guy that owned it previous to us and uh, basically that berm kind of keeps the water from from bypassing from from basically cutting straight across this field because there's a creek that runs right along the edge of the field in the woods and this is the bottom field so it'll flood they'll come across here and then it hits this here it's supposed to go that way so they're just cutting straight across there uh, then obviously this here comes see the cows there comes down through here put a little water crossing in here there's one of our waterers here's dad Wyatt doing some back dragging, smoothing stuff out. I got this kind of pretty smooth. It could be better, but there's a lot of sod and stuff, so it's hard to it kind of clumps up. But right now we're gonna go over here. A few trees over here. I think there's some holes out here. I'm gonna try to fill as I go. But uh, the phone's been on charge, so I didn't get a whole lot of footage of us actually doing the dirt work. But you guys got to see most of the clearing. Or at least some of the clearing. Let's head across the field. helping mommy give ginger bath hey this is making ginger want to get up and run there we go oh he's getting himself a bath i decided i'm i got the cola packer pulled out getting it ready uh, we cola pack every time we plant our hay fields to get it as smooth as possible um, you see i already have some new hoses on here the old hoses are basically all the braids showing i just knew it's just as bad of a time before they blow, so I'd rather do this. They don't have the mess. I'm not down while I'm trying to roll, waiting for a hose to be made. Um, so I'm in the process of putting those on. I gotta tighten these up here on the cylinder. I've got two hoses put together, and the reason I did that is it's just cheaper and easier to get the hoses if they're a standard length. So I have two six foot hoses put end to end to make each of these hoses run. So there's four six foot hoses and a couple in the middle. Also, most of the damage happens on the one right here going to the tractor. If you turn too sharp and it cuts it on the tongue, then you only have to replace this short section of hose instead of the entire length of hose if it's one hose. So that's why I did that. Uh, I've taken the old ends off the old hose. I put these ends on. There's nothing wrong with, with, with the ends. Uh, so I'm going to get some tape on the ends of these hoses, put those ends on, hook it up to the tractor, test it, make sure I don't have any leaks. And that project will be done. 
Then I have one tire over here that needs to be fixed, replaced, whatever needs to be done to it. I'll pull it up to the shop, put some air in it, and we'll see if, if how bad of a leak it is, or if it can be fixed, or if we need to replace it. Then I'll grease everything. There's not a whole lot of grease zerks on this. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Ah, that was pretty easy. Should've done that on the last ones. All right, everything's good. Except got a leak here. I wonder why. Huh. Oh, look at that. That's why you'd be testing because I forgot to tighten that one. We've been checking on the alfalfa field, haven't we, Cade? Now we're gonna go check on Gingy. Oh, down he goes. Yeah. You tell him. Just the tool for this job right here. All right, so actually both tires on this side have failed. Um, I say failed. We'll check this one out. This one might be able to be patched. It is flat completely. This one here still has air in it, but if you can, I don't know if you can see it in the camera. It's been around here, everything's normal. Keep watching there, and you see that rib in the middle rise. We've slipped a belt. So basically from about right here all the way to here, actually further back than that but this here is ruined if i was just in the field right here at the house it'd be different but we're going to pull this down the road and i don't feel comfortable with that so we're going to take both these off i'm going to put air in this see if i can find the leak might be able to plug it i don't know if it has a tube let's see that one is going to get replaced this one's going to at least get patched or replaced so let's get to work maybe are you trying to help me, Cade? You gonna climb over here and get get me? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We got all the plug nuts off. They were pretty stiff, but we got it. Might need a little kick. Maybe a bigger kick than that. I don't want to lose my light bulbs. There it goes. Everything's harder to do one-handed trying to keep it in the frame. All right. So there's one off. And we gotta get that one off. Oh. See if I can get it in here without breaking something. And. Alright, we got the second one off. I'm gonna put the lug nuts back on there so I don't lose them. Load that in the truck, take it up to the shop. And I'm actually going to put air in this other tire, check it for leaks. This one here is going to go to town and we're going to get a new tire put on. 